everyone who's ready to make some fake popcorn. I'll be making two types of popcorn today made from packing peanuts, filler popcorn, and detailed popcorn. Starting off with the filler popcorn, I'm taking my packing peanut and rolling it into a small ball with my hands and I'm going to be doing this four times as an example. Now I'm taking some yellow ochre acrylic paint and putting it in the middle so it looks like a popped kernel. For the detailed popcorn look, I'm just doing the same thing we did for the filler popcorn, except after rolling it into a ball, I'm taking some kitchen scissors and making some small cuts on the open end of our popcorn. Then I'm pushing up the sides a little so that they stick out to create that familiar popcorn shape. Packing peanuts dissolve in water, so I'm dipping my finger in some water and making an indent in the middle to create that scoop inside the popcorn. Lastly, just like we did with the filler popcorn, I'm taking my acrylic paint again and painting in that popped kernel. Now, although I'm using acrylic paint for this, I do recommend using oil paints because acrylic paint is water-based, so it will dissolve the packing peanut a little bit, but I'm an acrylic painter, so I don't have any oil paints. Here's all the detailed popcorn we made close up and it's looking pretty realistic. However, we're not done yet. To add a little extra detail, I'm going to be adding butter to our popcorn. Now, normally you would use yellow mica or acrylic powder for this, but I didn't have any, so I used a yellow pastel instead. So I took my pastel and using an X-Acto knife, scraped a good amount into a small container poured it into a small plastic bag, put the popcorn in, and gave it a good shake. And after repeating this process a few times, we now have some nice buttered popcorn. The yellow doesn't show up that well on camera, but it's definitely there, I promise. And it does look like butter. Of course, it's not going to be as pigmented as micro powder would be, but it still looks like buttered popcorn to me, even if it's not as pigmented. So now we have our two different types of popcorn. Here's the decorated popcorn, and here is the filler popcorn. Before I spill nail polish remover all over my art desk, I was trying to get this thing into frame. This is the popcorn piggy bank. Jake's parents gave me this. It's from Costco, and as you can see, it's filled with popcorn and has a coin slot on the top. So to prepare this bottle, I'm just going to be removing all the popcorn cleaning the inside and outside of the bottle, and then taking some nail polish remover and removing the stickers. And I removed the rest of these stickers off camera because it did take me quite some time. Okay, so I forgot to press record for the start of this, but I'm starting the decorating process by adding a few coats of gesso all the way around the bottle. And I also drew on those little bumps you see on the top of those open popcorn boxes. Okay, so after two layers of gesso and one layer of white paint, it's time to transform this bottle. This is the reference image I'll be using. To make the iconic popcorn box look except on a bottle instead of a box, I'm using red apple barrel paint. And I'm just painting the popcorn logo on the middle of the bottle along with some popcorn. It's time for the stripes and I just measured out how thick I want my stripes to be down the middle and I want the middle stripe to be thicker than the others. To create the stripes, I'm putting down some tape and going over it with gesso before I add my paint. This is so that I get nice clean lines. Adding the gesso just presses down the tape a bit so that your lines turn out crisp and clean. But doing this on a bottle is a little trickier, so I did have to clean up the lines a bit. 
and for time's sake I'm doing the rest of the stripes off camera but all I'm doing is making three centimeter red and white stripes all the way around the bottle only adding three more thicker stripes two on the sides and one on the back of the bottle my mini ring light is in the way here so sorry about that but here are how all the stripes look finished it's looking good but i decided to add some yellow to our popcorn logo because i wanted these popcorns to look like they have butter on them to match our fake popcorn so i'm mixing up some yellow ochre yellow and white paint together to create this nice buttery color for the shading, I just mixed together some yellow and white paint and blending it in with a very small amount of water. All the painting for this bottle is now finished. I love how it's looking, so now I'm just going to seal the whole thing with matte varnish. To give our bottle a little extra detail, I'm taking our detailed popcorn and super gluing it around the entire bottle on those little bumps to make it look like it's overflowing. And here we are, the bottle is finished. I think having that extra detail with the detailed popcorn just brought the whole thing together and now we can start working on the next step. Moving on to the lid, this lid had a coin slot but it was closed so I just created a slit using my X-Acto knife and I thought it would look really cool if I took a quarter and used my hot glue gun to glue it in the coin slot so it looks like the quarter is falling through it and here's how it looks with the coin glued in. After gluing in the quarter to match the same color scheme, I painted the lid red. I did a few layers of gesso and white paint first, then I painted the whole thing red, making sure not to get any paint on the quarter, and there it is, all done. Finally, we can start filling up our popcorn piggy bag. I filled the bottom with some filler popcorn, filled the middle with regular packing peanuts, then the last part is where I use the detailed popcorn. And now, all there is left to do is screw on the lid, and we have ourselves a popcorn-themed piggy bank. The genius of this project is the way the money can be hidden below the popcorn, obscured from the prying of pesky thieves. As long as those thieves don't shake the bottle, attempt to eat the styrofoam popcorn, or happen to notice the coin prominently displayed on top, then it's a well-kept secret. Shh.